Every marriage has two hearts, one light and one dark. Hi folks, Harry here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the first and second episodes of the new TV adaptation of Stephen King's book, Lisey's Story. So this adaptation has been in the works for a really long time now. The book came out in 2006, and in 2017, Stephen King announced that he wanted to do an adaptation of this book. He has said many times that Lisey's story is one of the best books that he has ever written. A lot of fans will disagree. Personally, I gave this book three stars just because there were a lot of things that I loved about it and a lot of things that I hated, but it's fine. First of all, I'll talk about the non-spoiler stuff and then I'll delve into spoiler territory as we get further into the discussion. So Lisey's story is basically a romance slash thriller slash horror story about a woman called Lisey Landon, whose husband, Scott Landon, was a very, very accomplished writer. But following Scott's death, many of his fans are trying to gain access to his unpublished works, and as a result of that are bothering Lisey. So really, Lisey's story is a tale about stalkers, fans, obsession, and it is fascinating. The first two episodes of this show aired on the 4th of June. I think this video might be going up on the 5th or 6th of June, so I am sorry about that, but I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible. So, so far, what I'm thinking is, this adaptation is bloody fantastic. Obviously, you've got Stephen King himself working on the adaptation, along with J.J. Abrams and the director, what's his name, Pablo Lorraine. And if you've got the man himself, Stephen King, working on the adaptation, you know that something good's gonna come out of it. So far, the adaptation is not massively faithful. So I think for this purpose, if I'm gonna do more reviews like these of this show as the new episodes come out, I'm gonna be ignoring the book, goodbye, and I'm just gonna be talking about the show. Because I've already read the book, I'm not going to be giving predictions for the show because so far the show hasn't been too faithful so it might go in a completely different direction. I kind of hope it does because it would be a nice surprise. So, so far I think the performances of Julianne Moore and Joan Allen are exquisite. They are absolutely fantastic. I've seen Julianne Moore in the remake of Carrie which is actually a film that I really really like. I do really like the remake of Carrie, a lot of people don't. But I love Julianne Moore. I think she is easily one of the highlights of that film. And I think that they have absolutely nailed the casting of this show. Julianne Moore plays Lisey so, so, so well. I don't think they could have chosen a better actress for this role. I think she's absolutely fantastic. And Joan Allen does such a good job as Amanda. Her portrayal is absolutely amazing. I'm massively impressed by their abilities to play mentally unstable people. It's it's scarily accurate and it's absolutely fantastic. The themes explored in Lisey's story are absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I mentioned things like uh, stalkering. Did I just say stalkering? And fan obsession. And those are definitely at the forefront. But also grief. There is so much grief representation in Lisey's story. I think the only time I've ever seen this level of grief and its accuracy being rivaled is in Pet Cemetery, which I think is just a masterpiece in the way that it represents grief. But Lisey's story does it so, so well. I think the cinematography so far is really, really good, especially with the stuff with Booyah Moon. It is so visually stunning. Some people might call the pacing of the show quite sluggish, but I think it's a slow burn, and there's nothing wrong with a slow burn, especially with Stephen King. I think that the amazing visuals massively make up for the slow pacing, and the really, really heavy, hard-hitting themes, it's just absolutely mind-boggling how well they've started off this show. All right, we're gonna get into spoiler stuff now, so if you've not seen the first two episodes, leave. Jim Dooley. Oh my god, he is so creepy, he is so scary. Not always in a good way though, because he did threaten to sexually abuse Lisey, but we're not gonna comment on that. But the stuff that he does is just fucked up. Like with the dead bird in the mailbox. Obviously in the book it was a dead cat in the mailbox. But it's the same sort of situation. So far I think Jim is so, so good as a villain. He's absolutely fantastic. He's so creepy. Just the dead delivery of all of his speech. He never has any emotion. It's all just completely dead and lifeless. And I think that it's such an amazing portrayal of such a creepy character from the book. I really, really like the narrative style. I like how it often switches between Lisey and the present, 
and Lisi when Scott was alive. I think that it's done really, really well. And the transitions between real life and Booyah Moon are absolutely fantastic. I have to say, these episodes have been difficult to watch because of how accurate and hard-hitting the topics of mental health are. Like the very frequent references to suicide and self-harm it is, it is very, very difficult to get through. I do think that those themes are really powerful though, and they do create a really eerie, suspenseful, dreadful in a good way effect. That's all I really have to say about these two episodes. They're very good. I don't really have much else to say. They're so, so good. I really, really enjoy them and I can't wait for the next few episodes to come out. I'm so excited. If you want me to do weekly reviews of these new episodes as they come out, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a big fat thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more bookish content from me. All of my social media links are in the description below and I will see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.